Just a few days after three young men were killed in this building behind me, a representative from Airbnb made the trip from San Francisco to Toronto today to announce some new security measures with the platform. Critics say it's not enough, though, and it won't solve the problems that exist with the short-term rental market. Putting an age limit on those renting locally, along with a telephone hotline. That's the response Airbnb is proposing will prevent disturbances and tragic incidents from taking place at its listing locations. No system is going to be infallible. Um, I think our, we have data, we have signals, um, we have algorithms. Um, there's a lot of information that you are required to provide before you can come on Airbnb as either a guest or a host. The new measures will prevent those 25 and under from booking what are considered local listings. A new neighborhood support line is also being set up for anyone with concerns to call. The news came along with a $300,000 pledge to the Canadian Doctors for Protection from Guns, a token effort according to those fighting the company for better regulations. What we have seen is just more of the same. Airbnb is going around and they are buying goodwill, they are buying positive headlines because that's all they can do. The city of Toronto made a move two years ago and tried to put bylaws in place that would only allow short-term rentals at an owner's primary residence, preventing those who own multiple properties from listing them. That effort is going through multiple appeals, however, and they have yet to be implemented. But we will devote the resources necessary to enforce the law, and especially when our laws that we passed are actually able to be fully in place, we will come to grips with this and we will do it uh, with no stone left unturned. But for the prohibitions we're announcing today, people still would have been able to do uh, what took place. Um, and so what we're doing is on our own going above and beyond uh, what will exist in those regulations when in fact they are implemented. Just a few months ago, Airbnb said it was implementing new global measures to prevent party houses after five people were killed at a listing in California. The announcement today is specific to Canada. What we would need to see in the city of Toronto is for them to remove multi-listing hosts and listings that are run by commercial operators, by ghost hotel operators that, um, you know, stockpile, lease up or otherwise acquire dozens and dozens and dozens of listings. Airbnb said the measures they are putting in place will take, a, take effect as of Monday and the number that they're making available will be posted on their website.